Hi, Assalamualaikum. Our today's topic is titration. What is titration? Titration, also known as titrimetry or volumetric analysis, is a common laboratory method of quantitative chemical analysis to determine the concentration of an identified analyte or a substance to be analyzed. A reagent termed the titrant or titrator is prepared as a standard solution of known concentration and volume. The titrant reacts with a solution of analyte which may also be termed the titrant to determine the analyte's concentration. See the figure on the screen. The solution inside the burette is the titrant and the solution inside the Erlenmeyer flask is the analyte or titrant. The lab apparatus for titration burette stands and clamps Erlenmeyer flask beaker glass pipettes rubber bulb volumetric pipette and washing bottle how to use a burette clamp you should fix the burette clamp on a stand squeeze the handle and the rubber knobs will separate from each other the burette will then be put between the rubber knobs Next, rinse the burette. For the first rinse, you can use aqua desk with the help with washing bottle. Try to get it all rinsed in the burette. Turn the valve vertically to open and drain the contents. Make sure there is no air gap at the end of the bullet. It's not recommended to have an air gap like this. Wipe the end of the burette with a tissue. The materials for titration. A base solution as a titran. Rinse the burette two or three times with the liquid you wish to use. It means in this experiment, you should rinse the burette with the base solution. And then fill the burette with the titrant. 
a base solution. See the volume on the burette. Write the volume as an initial reading. Next material is an acid. Measure 10 mm using volumetric pipette and the rubber bulb. Siphon solution into the pipette to the desired level by squeezing valve S on the bottom of the pipette filler. Empty the pipette by squeezing valve E on the side tube. Release air from the pipette filler by squeezing valve A on the top of the pipette filler. Siphon as much as 10 ml up to the pipette boundary line. Put the acid solution into the Erlenmeyer flask. Next material is indicator solution. Drop as much three drops of indicator solution. Mix it. Titrate until the solution change color from clear to stable soft violet red. This is the right color, the titration equivalent point. See the color carefully. See the final volume on the burette as a final reading. If we continue titrate it, you will have end point and the color darker see the difference of that three colors this is the color less or the color before you titrate it or it has not reached the equivalent point this is the right color you have reached the equivalent point and this is the end point color because you continue titrate it and the color become darker. Okay, the last is calculation. From this experiment, we have the initial reading is 1 milliliter and the final reading is 23.3 milliliters. So, the volume used is 22.3 milliliters. So, the base solution or the tight trend from this experiment, we have 22.3 milliliters. And this volume will be used to find the concentration of the base solution or other calculation please like my video and subscribe my channel thank you